Hey everybody, welcome back to the Race 5 Smokehouse and Grill. And today we are doing a product review of this Inkbird Bluetooth Instant Read Thermometer. So let's open this and check it out. Let's go! So I was asked by the people at Inkbird to go ahead and check out this instant read thermometer. I have not even opened up the box yet. You can still see we got taped here. So I do not know what to expect with this guy here. Let's open her up. Okay, we have our instruction booklet here and we have our instant read thermometer. We also have a charging cable and a couple probes. So this is everything that it comes with in the box. You have the main body, you have the charging cable and the two external probe. And this is pretty cool because not only is it an instant read, you know, you pop it out and you check the temperature of your food, but you can also use it to monitor your cooks as it's going because it does have two ports in there as well. So now this is Bluetooth. So this will connect to your phone and everything, which is great. So let's get this set up, see what we need to do. And we'll be right back once we get it set up and I'll tell you what we had to do to get it set up with your phone and your Bluetooth. This was super easy to set up. There's a QR code here in the instruction manual. You just go ahead that and scan that with your camera camera app on your smartphone. That'll get you to the app you need to pair up with this thermometer. And it was simple. Downloaded it, signed in. Super simple to link up to Bluetooth. It asks you to find the device. You find it, you hit set, and you're set up. So I'm already set up to Bluetooth on here. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these probes. We are cooking a picanha on the Weber kettle right now. You could go ahead and click the link if you're interested in how we cook this picanha. It'll be up here and in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and use one of these probes comes with a safety tip on top so I'm gonna take that off nice long cord here and then there's P1 and P2 so we're just gonna go right into probe 1 start it up and it has a pretty cool interface here it shows you everything you need to I am just gonna go ahead and plug this into that picanha we're cooking and we're gonna monitor the meat with this thermometer see how it goes we're gonna test out this probe for accuracy and this probe as well see if they read about the same let's go get this on here so it's currently reading at about 91 degrees in the center of the meat. You can see the set temp is 170. Uh, we're connected to the Bluetooth. You can see up here the signal that's shown that we're connected to the Bluetooth. Uh, we are gonna need to charge it, so hopefully it lasts the rest of this cook, which is only about another 30 to 40 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead, set her down. Let's see how it works. So I went ahead and set up the Inkbird app to give me an alarm when it reaches the temperature. It was super easy. All you have to do is go into the probe you're in, hit the temperature icon that looks like a thermometer. You go in and you select what temperature you want. I wanted it at 120, which is rare. That way I could sear it and bring it up to the medium rare. And then you set it and that's it. Now it's gonna give me an alert when my meat's ready to go. We'll be back when it's time to check the meat. And I'm also gonna check when the uh, alarm goes off, I'm gonna check with the actual instant rate thermometer see how fast that works and if it's pretty close to what the other probe is getting so we'll be back in a minute we're going to check the internal with this inkbird dual probe instant read thermometer so let's go check it out and see what we're reading at right now So we're reading in those 120s, 125 area. So quick rundown on this Inkbird Multi-Probe Instant Read Thermometer after using it one time. So I really like it. I like the feel of it. It charged up pretty quickly. I like that there's two probes. It's Bluetooth enabled. And you could also use this probe as an instant read to check as you're going. All in all, I really like it. And thank you Inkbird for sending it. The only concern that I have is that the probes that they give you are all metal which some of their other products they actually have a rubber casing on there which helps you if you're pulling it out of the meat and trying to move some stuff around this gets hot so you'll probably need gloves or a towel or something to, to remove this with this rubber coating you don't need that so that's the only concern i have right now we're going to see how this lasts to the test of time here we're going to start using this a lot more often but again right now i really enjoy this so thanks again inkbird and uh, we're going to keep using it if you like what we did here today hit that like button hit that subscribe button 
button. Make sure to follow me on social media and we'll be talking to everybody soon. Thanks for checking this video out. Talk to you soon. Peace.